Ahoy, 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 everyone. Everybody, how's it going today? It's Wednesday. Wednesday, right in the middle. See, I'm going to state that. Blatantly obvious, we're right in the middle of the work week oh, here. Right? Great. Right. <laughs> yes. <Somewhere. laughs> uh, so, I hope uh, everybody's having a good Wednesday so far. We are doing, um, we haven't had, well, we had our first pot of coffee early this morning. We haven't. Yeah. We were a little behind on getting our uh, yeah. our and show are, coffee these ready. These are little pots, right? Like a French press. It's not. We're not talking Mister Coffee here. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Um, so, gosh, well, there's we've had a bunch of like cool things happen over the you know, past I, couple of days. I just started nodding my head, and I had, like, I and no I idea. realized <laughs> I have no idea where you're heading. Neither do I. Ed McMahon. Neither do I. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Anyway, um, we well, we're gonna have fun because uh, I mean, we always have fun on the show. But today, we put a little tiny bit of pressure on ourselves. Yeah. So we haven't we haven't done a live any live mock building since we did um, Fab Max. So we decided. (laughs) <laughs> partially because we were running out of time yep. getting no we, actually, no we got to start we just on the challenge for this week yeah but like some other people who we've heard from this is a challenging set to make you know to make your mock from so we're gonna put on a little steam hopefully during the show today yeah so the, so when we have a direction to go in we just haven't really like gone there moved forward <laughs> with it <laughs> we haven't gone in that direction yet um, so let's see. Let's see. I've got um, some 3D printing news. I have this idea. Or should I wait? Should I we, should wait on the 3D printing have we, news. Have we for been a up long enough? Should we say hi to everyone? Uh, another couple minutes. Only five okay. after. Usually, like I find ten after we have like max more people there. Yeah. And um, call it out. Okay. Bunch of people well, there, but you have been busily 3D printing. We kind of. I mean, you did all the work on it, but I helped with the concept, right? <laughs> Oh, this one, yes. But I was gonna show this one first, and then we'll s- like hopefully some more people will filter in, and I'll show the other one. Okay. Because that was a little weird. So I three D printed this awesome rocket. Um, it's really cool. So it's and you can't see it, but well, you can kind of see well, my little, finger through it. It's, it's transparent. Yep. It's right? hollow like a Christmas ornament. Yeah, it's hollow like a Christmas ornament. Um, this is Amy from Lego Masters, Crystal and Amy, Amy, Amy DD. Uh, it's her special blood of my enemies uh, filament. filament. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a model I downloaded, you know, free online and was uh, and printed out, and it comes out really cool. I want to do it in other colors. Yeah, too, I think right? he's gonna make a um, um, an opaque one for me. That's white, uh, either blue down here with a white tip, probably, or white down here with a blue tip. Yeah, like with a color change partway through. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about this, I gotta say. Yeah, it seems like the printer's humming. Um so all right, I've got um I got that going on. Um Oh Wilfred, um I hope that it'll inspire some people too. I hope uh, I know that if we work on this mock for an hour, we will have made more progress than we have at the moment. <laughs> Right? How, how's that for a commitment to excellence? <laughs> I'm just putting myself out there. Um, so, okay, well, let's see. Yeah, I think we should. Let's see who's here. Marilyn Parmley is here, I see. Hopped on. Hi, Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Lots of love to you. Um, all right, let's see who is here. Maybe we'll get some singing today. Ah. Um, Apples is here. Aqua Mike TV. Uh, Brickham's Den. Brickworm, uh, Chris, Chris, first day, day back, back at work, work chalice. chalice. Oh my goodness, good luck, Chris. Um, Cowboy Cornado is here, ahoy howdy. Darren Siegfried, David Wilkie, Debo Bricks, Fabu, Fabu Fan, Fan MKE, MKE, Gary Mullane from Ireland, how's it going, Gary? Uh, Greebling Wizard is here, uh, Hooded One, Johnny Cat, hi Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Uh, Joshua Zender, Kathleen is here, Yano River Blue, hi Yano. Matthew builds bricks. Uh, we already said to Maryland. Yeah, we did. Uh, Mini Fig Nick is here. Awesome. Monica Berry and Moto. Uh, Osorg is here. Uh, Rob, Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis. Lana, Elena, and Vanessa. How's it going? Um, the Brick Orphanage. The Hornburgers. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. How do you uh, all Hornburgers? Wilfred is here. Bonsoir. Uh, Zach Martinez. And I'm just going to go ahead and make an educated guess that. 
Kim is here or will be here shortly. I just have to. I can't end she, the list you know, without might, it. Even she if might she might take is a break every now and then. Even if she is or is not here, I still have to say the name because it's, yep. you know, again like the period on the end of a sentence. Yep. yep see, there see, you I knew go. She was Hi, here. Kim. Hey, Steve Parmley is here too. Hey, Steve and Brett Hooper. Hey, How's Steve. it going, Brett? Um, so okay, so now we've got we've got a few more people here. I'm Critical excited mass. to show this. We have, well, yeah. Um, getting close. <laughs> so I printed this thing last night, and I'm sure Look, right it now it looks like a lens cap. It just looks like a yeah. It just looks like a a white thing yeah, with a I'm, black I'm outline. But and you can I don't know if you can see you can see a little something there, but oh, it's not gonna work. No. Oh dang can it, you... y'all! Dang it. Hey, um, hey, how about with the down cam? Uh, maybe I might with be able the to down do it cam. More targeted, right? Um. Yeah, hang on one second. Oh, oh, sorry, it's gonna be in your face. <laughs> Spooky up lighting. Okay, so you can see you can see what it is here. It's oh dang it, it's not gonna work. All right, we gotta just use the. Uh, I'll use the picture. Um, well, I guarantee you, there's something to see there. You can there is something to see, see there. It. Sorry about that, but you know what? I'm gonna. I'll just get the picture up here because I've got a couple of the pictures. There's that one, and that one. Yeah, do that one first. Okay. So first, I gotta get the picture. Uh, first, I have to get the picture up here. So give me a second. I like that one first because it's like, what the heck is that? It is. It is kind of that, isn't it? Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to our page over here, and you'll forgive me if I do a little uh, a little tech here. Live um, tech. Actually, you know what? Why don't we do this? Why All right. Why don't we do this? We're gonna do do gonna do pins first, and then I will deal with getting this up. Okay. Um. Uh. So. Today I am featuring. Oh, there she is. The the Snow White Evil Queen, and I love this like little star, like little star pattern behind her, and she's got the hidden Mickey here. There you go. And I'm featuring an old favorite. I'm starting to get classic ones, like my favorite ones. I will never trade away. Um, I like this here wolf howling at the moon. That's me today. Well, not me. That's my pin for today. So I thought what we could do is we could do sticker time, and then you could show off the sticker and read about it while I'm okay. getting our next our little tech thing set up here, and we'll see can do. We'll see what we can do here. All right. So it's time for sticker set show and tell. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this at the same time here. Okay, I'm gonna do an angle. Is it gonna focus? Come here. There. Ooh, look at this. Okay, bring the notes up. This is from set four, one. Uh-oh. I no, went you're away. Good. No, you're fine. Okay. You're all good. Um, I, this is from set 44017. It's eight by nine studs small. This is the Stormer Freeze. Uh, Stormer Freeze machine from Hero Factory Heroes. It's funny that was the theme, Hero Factory Heroes. Ice blue. It's an ice blue mech um, with two Hero Factory jumpers, which I hadn't seen before, and Stormer, our Hero Factory mini, with, um, I don't know if I'm still on you the are, camera don't, here. Don't worry, I, you're Perfect. all good. <laughs> so evidently these jumpers were some of the bad guys, some of the villains um, in this, and they were small, um, and the Hero Factory minis could ride on them, but they'd be kind of, you know super small for the giant hero factory figures <laughs> all right i'm almost there really i'm almost there well yes i like the sticker set because it's all little tiny greebling and kind of like klingon symbols any any unidentifiable space language i come across um is instantly klingon <laughs> as it should be right like i wouldn't recognize cardassian hieroglyphics i don't think but Oh, I am almost there. I am so almost there. I promise. You're doing. You're doing lots of. Um, here. Oh, well, I can't see to um, to hold this up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm What's gonna that? null out our pieces a little bit. We here. are. We are nulling. Hey, can you um, bring me into down cam? Yeah, I am. I am this close. 
Okay. Well, um, it'll be good to have these separated. I'm just gonna separate <laughs> this them. This is so frustrating. Oh my Seat goodness! Of the Pants Productions presents. Well, it wouldn't be a Seat of the Pants Productions if it weren't for, um, you know, Aubrey Kovach. Good morning. Hey, Aubrey's here. How's it going? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Here, I don't know if I can. Um... So I started actually. I started with the Mandalorian and Child set um, sitting in bed and I just opened the box and, you know, put all the pieces in the box and started playing with pieces. And I pulled out some that I thought I could work with and started, oh look, I just broke it, started assembling <laughs> things. Um, the first thing I got was this kind of um, like Max Ernst Minotaur like cement construction that would be in like Max Ernst's backyard there. Um, but, you know, that only uses a few of the pieces, and I don't think a lot of people even know <laughs> what Max Ernst uh, sculptures look like. Um, but I like the idea of this one piece as, a, as horns on the top of a head. Flynn and I had talked about doing something like a micro city, and I think that's where we're gonna, where we're going to start heading and see if something else comes up in the meantime. Okay, well, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Oh, okay. All right, so here we go, you guys. I think so. the the white the mysterious white disc. Yes. Um. Looks like that. So that's what it that's that's what I was trying to show you. But that isn't the cool part about it. The cool part about it. Yeah, because is... this because this looks like a creepy version of us. It looks like a right? really really <laughs> cute really creepy version of us. But. The magic happens when you put light behind it. So this is called a lithophane, and it is a 3D printing trick that you can do with, um, and I've actually- You could do it with full, fully realistic photos. And I've seen it in color. Um, Amy showed me one that somebody had done in color. So, oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's a the cool effect, right? Like, right? I, I'm thinking that we can no make- light cool like maybe not with our image on it but cool lampshade Light. or like beside <laughs> the bed you know with with um like celtic knot patterns or some kind of intricate stuff where you just don't see it at all and you turn on the light and maybe a mountain scene well it was really what was really cool is like this was just a free program available on the internet like i just went and yeah. like you found it yeah and... well i because i said you know i invented this yesterday i'm like well, so what if you could take a photo and extrude it to a different amount for the whites than the grays <laughs> and the blacks? And if you could do that according to grayscale, and I Googled it, and it's like, oh, well, here, that's a, here are that's 67. That's the thing that it is. Yeah, 67 <laughs> websites, 140,000 likes on Facebook. Yeah, this so. This thing that I invented. Anyway, that's a thing that we did. So this is, um, this is just like the first in a series of experiments. But I got to say, I'm really impressed with the the amount of detail it got into Kevin's artwork, right? Like like it got the even like the highlights on the faces, and then my white walls are there. Like all of the, uh, I just think it's so I just think it's so clever. It's really really cool. Yano, I like the name Lithophane too. It it sounds like some kind of Elven language from um from Tolkien Whoops. to me. They spoke High Lithophane. <laughs> Yes, that. Back in, in the elder days of the Silmarillion. <laughs> oh, dang it. I had a I had a thing up here that we were going to look at. All right. And um, Well, you've been busy printing. Well, I've been busy printing. So, you guys, did you have you oh, seen Oh, no, you're messing up all the noise. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, everyone, have you seen um, the Lego Ideas vote thing has happened now. Oh yeah. Uh, so it is. Um, it's we are down to. They ended up going with four of them because three wasn't enough. <laughs> oh, you mean that they're actually gonna make four of them, or this is the final final decision is based on these four? Oh no, you guys. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, uh, so Flynn, this, while, while you were rezzed into the computer, yes. I was wondering, so this is down to, um, these are the last four? The final four. It was supposed to be three. Yeah. It was supposed to be three. Um, but, no surprise, Bionicle 
like is number one by a quite a few votes. Well, Bionicle's fans are super dedicated. Yeah, it's um, it really really amazing. So the so Bionicle, Classic Space, and Pirates are what made it to the top three. I gotta say, really really sad that Adventurers didn't make it. Like I really, I mean, just really was excited about. I know that you one. had super grouchy face. <laughs> when, I, when I read it, yeah. um, but um, but there's good news because there's another possibility too, right? Right. So apparently they they kind of did a mea culpa on the um, on the uh, the splitting up of the castle right. theme, which we talked about before, and combined castle got more votes, I believe, than even Bionicle did. Um, once they like kind of combined all of them together, mm. so they added a fourth one. So now the final four. Sorry for scrolling so quickly. Um, Ian, they talk about here Whoa, about you're getting if, dizzy. Um, if we add up every user that cast either one, two, or three votes for Castle, that's three. That's thirty-three thousand four hundred eighty-nine users. So there you go. So they. Wow. Um, I'm hoping it's Castle. I mean, I don't know. Classic space is that's one of my favorite themes. So there we go. Bionicle, classic space, pirates. And castle. There you go. Um, yeah, those are our, those are gonna be our choices. What was that? Cornado. Cornado says, "Are they struggling? Can't they just make four sets?" I know. Don't you wish? <laughs> um, yeah, same. Kathleen, as an adventurous fan, I'm like, uh, I definitely have to say though, I would pick castle. Yeah, before I think castle would be fun. You know why? Horse armor. You love horse armor. He's I just, like I just love saying horse, horse armor because you know, like in in Skyrim and those other games, that's the thing. You gotta get all the horse armor. I can't stop fiddling with this, and I really wanna um, I wanna do a Logan one. Yeah. Like a Lo I can stealth can Logan. The, the Logan cookie tying one would be great. The Logan decoder ring. Um. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just separating pieces here. I think we're gonna assemble them at some point. Matthew's asking if this is for the prize packs. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a couple choices. There's a coin, and then there's this. There's this also, um, and maybe a slightly smaller version of this. Um, but I have to say, I was surprised it didn't take that long to print. No, it was cool. It was a pretty quick. But print. yeah, see, so the printer's humming now, so that means also that we're going to be able to put nifty things in the prize pack. Right, which and is what we've out. been waiting for. Yep. So now we'll be able to send those out. And yeah, the uh, the little discs will be. Um, Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool printed. Printed corner tiles. Oh, very nice, very nice. There should be two of those. There are. There. Yeah, there's a couple of them. So. I'm interested. This to is sort know, of semi nulled. Well, no, well, I I had to separate colors because I would have. <clears throat> I got lost in the. Pardon Let's me. just get this out of the way <coughs> here. Nobody needs <clears throat> to see our keyboard. There we yeah, go. Yeah. So I got lost in the grays and realized I wasn't making progress. So I'm going to continue laying, separating the colors out, and you can do with them as you see fit. There. Well, we'll I'm, see how far we get. Okay. I'm curious to see what other people's experience has been so far. Like, where are they in their project? Well, now, I know that Hooded One was having a difficult time, but then they said that uh, on the Discord that I think he broke through the builder's block and is now, uh, and, like, and created something and used all the pieces. So there you go. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. All the pieces. How are we going to use all the pieces? I have like seen uh, I have seen on the Discord, I've seen people... Um, oops. Whoa. Now this is sort of more random knolling. Now this is, so I gotta say this is something that I saw people doing. This isn't exact knolling. This is I'm calling this semi knolling. It's knollish. It's knollish. Exactly. <laughs> Some people might it's call half it null. organized. We're it's, we're reducing. It's half knoll, like half like a half orc or oh, a half gnome. It's a half knoll. It's a half knoll. All right, so. Um, I wouldn't have thought to do this, but I saw several people do this on the Discord. So, total knolling brickworm with a GN, absolutely, because uh, that's yeah. And I think it would be actually I think it would be a, with a cult of a K. It's K N O L L I N G when it's a when it's a knoll in 
Um, Are they? Yeah, but if you're gnoming, it would be G-N-O. <laughs> um, like, so there you go. Like my favorite gnome, Gnomey Malone. Kim says, I built my set before this challenge was considered. Well, you can always take it apart and put it back together again. I'm just saying, you get, and then that way you get triple the joy out of the set. <laughs> you get to build it and then build it again. So uh, any unbuild it and rebuild it. Anyone else <laughs> trials, tribulations, successes with the the rebrick challenge? Yeah, I'm curious to hear what people. Uh, uh, oh yes, we are on a null. Um, <laughs> I, I'm curious to hear what troubles and travails or or, or successes. Like what if? Like, yeah, maybe we'll get in inspired by your well oh so what i was saying was i was really inspired by the um by the knolling that people were doing because i was like oh right of course so then you can see all the pieces that you have out in front of you i would have just like dug through the pile until i got well, to I was where doing, i wanted that's to be. what i was doing is just pulling things out of the jumbled box and I want to apologize to any of our OCD viewers who are going to be driven mad by the fact that I am not keeping, and this is him included, that I'm not keeping these all like okay, completely. Okay, but re remember what we learned about sleeves and how they mess things up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sleeve. There's a, that's right. The, no pirate shirts when we're building mugs. Well, that's what I gotta. Say. So I got I um that was you know everybody's like well what advice would you give someone to, you know who's gonna be uh who wants to be on Lego Master season two it's <laughs> like don't wear <laughs> long sleeves <laughs> if you can possibly help it because yeah with all due respect to the brothers who brick who oh my just and... tore it up in suits yes I couldn't believe it because I would I would have never mm. yeah don't let them. Don't let him get you into that trap. <laughs> and, and, to, and to Amy Kleitz, who did the first episode in Heels. And then she was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Which I no. absolutely I absolutely supported yeah. her on. And to Amy D.D., who did it wearing a cape. Wearing a cape, and Crystal did it um, wearing fairy wings, you know. Yep. And they all looked fabulous. And too. they looked fabulous While doing running it. to the brick pit. Yeah, that was. I mean, I still, I sure. Which was wish... always like there would be bricks on the floor. It was definitely uh -oh. a um, uh, an obstacle course. I wish. I, yeah. I, I mean, they did everything they could to make it easy for us to get there, but there was a lot of gear. There were like sometimes we were ducking under camera booms. Yeah, yeah. With armloads of bricks. So, um, did they try to? put you in roles it seemed like you guys were just yourselves yeah they really they really made an effort to let us know that they just kind of wanted us to be us which um, we were really glad about um i i they wanted all the teams to be different from one another i will say though that, that way, the, right? yeah i will say the weird thing for me was the wardrobe because they really did kind of that was a place where they were kind of like this is what we want you to wear yeah, um, and Fort fortunately, it's what I wore all the time. But I had like three, and they wanted twenty. Yeah, and I, I mean, I it's not what Outfits. I wear all the time. It's what I used to wear all the time um, yeah. until I got really lazy and just <laughs> like I'm gonna wear t-shirts with a picture on it, um, which well, I you've, heartily endorse. You've curated your t-shirt collection a lot, though, right? I have absolutely curated my. Uh, my collection. I don't know if anyone else is enjoying this, but I find this really <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> Cowboy Canada says, I did something abstract because, uh, again, because I had builder's block. Uh, Monica Berry says, I ended up doing two related builds and then kind of making something with the leftovers. Um, Rob Zaccardi says, I knolled less extensively as I reset for Lana's and Vanessa's builds after mine. Oh, yeah, Rob, yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, you did like you took them apart and put it together again. Um, Wilfred says my knolling was by function and not color, so I knew how many brick plates not I had. Oh, very good, yeah. very good. Um, it's true, limited plates in this one. Yeah, there are limited plates in this one for sure. But I like um, there's some a good amount of curves, and I think I don't know. Whenever I see a set with lots of tiny pieces, my head kind of goes to micro. 
just because you need the you know you need pieces like that well there's a lot more detail uh, there are a lot more detail than um large building pieces yeah in this set right yeah for sure so maybe we should have called this episode nulling the mandalorian and child set. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even 10 30 usually we're not even we're not even done our like rambling talk about whatever it is we're talking about first thing in the morning yeah um, oh, speaking of rambling, first thing in the morning. Oh, another... How's that coffee doing? Oh, hey, that's what we need. That is... <laughs> Look at that. But we've almost got all the pieces out here. I mean, you know, I've actually taken this to where I've taken a ruler before, yeah, and, and evened up the rows. Oh my goodness. So Devo Brick says, I kept making a spaceship. Tried to make something else, but it kept becoming a spaceship. <laughs> It's true. That's that's awesome. Um, oh yeah. The the challenge I found is that there are not many pieces over six stud length, so it keeps the build small. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and it's hard to make a big base plate for it. Oh, and Wilfred says personally for inspiration, I went Star Wars. Even if I'm not really a fan, I uh, couldn't do a ship I liked, so you did a place instead. Very good. You know, I kind of. I thought about that. I was like, should we make something Star Wars? And I'm just, uh, no, I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't, I wasn't that excited about it. I just wasn't that excited about it. But, um, yeah, we're, we're nulling by color and I, things are getting a little wild west out here towards the fringes. Like, I won't show you the, the, the black pieces because they're kind of, um, <laughs> they're kind of a mess. Um, you don't need to see that. It's a, it's the blasted landscape over there. Yeah, exactly. But it does have the eyes, which is nice. And of course, we've now, um, I'd note, um, completely nulled on, t in, uh, we have no build space. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm not averse to re-nulling. Hey, why don't we talk for just a second, since there's not that much to tell yet, yeah. about our new project. Or the fact that there is one, maybe. There's a new project, and that's all we're going to say. It'll be, it's fun, and it's, it's going to be it's large, big. and we're taking a cue from our California Dreamin' piece. I'll just say that. Yep. Does that seem fair? Does that seem like an, I think that's, enough of a tease? I think that's fair, yeah. A big piece. So it is possible there may be some challenges that we will not ap actually be participating in, which we kind of talked about when we changed our schedule, right? How about yeah. let's get these in the okay. down, down in there. Ta time to take apart the... Okay, so the, the it's a Lego project. Sorry, we should be more specific. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a big Lego layout project, um, so we're really, really excited about it. Yep. It's sort of uh, the seeds of it... Pardon. The seeds of it have been in the works for a while, but it just crystallized. Well, we had that. We had one project that we've been working on for a really long time. That's that's the super long. That's the super long term project. Highly and unfortunately, technical one. The highly technical one, and that one, it's just, you know, you you start to feel blocked in by those really lo like the highly technical projects. Like it's takes so long, and we want to have something that comes in between that, right? Like something yeah. that we can work on. Well, so, this this one we're working on now will be more about building and less about troubleshooting. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. I love them making things move, but man, yeah, there's a lot of troubleshooting involved. So we have a nice lot of these these pieces, and which is which is great because they almost in some ways stand on their own as buildings in a micro build. And we also have these couple of ones that have them on the side. Yeah. Right? Yep. Um. So, again, I just my uh, my initial idea was a micro city because small pieces and you can do a lot with them and we have a lot of um whoa we have a lot of um uh these dark tan um headlight bricks which are great for you can get what i love about headlight bricks and micro building is that you can get three different window treatments out of them you can get this window treatment like a round with a window sill yeah you can get this window treatment a One square of my favorite um, or you can get this window treatment with um, 
a more square, uh, another square, but a different, you know, like slightly different size than this one. I just, love that. I just realized something while while you were doing that, and What's I was that? adjusting things with a card. What's that? When, in my drafting, I draft lighting designs and, and rigging drawings and stuff like that, is I get all the information in there, and then I null it. Like, I'm like, everything has to be aligned to the grid. I spend so you much do. time aligning and centering and spacing and... I have a zillion guys. He calls me into his office sometimes. He's like, what do you think about Do you the think this looks between... crowded? Do you... do you think this looks crowded? <laughs> sure. He's like, yeah, um, it's a construction drawing. <laughs> he says, does this look crowded? And then I say, and I'm like, no. He's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, after I've been staring at this little portion of a, yes. of a large drawing for like two hours. <laughs> Thank you, Cowboy Carnado. See, he he gets it. <laughs> Here, we can... I'll, I'll do this one. Oh, this isn't even on Oh, there. yeah. By the way, if y'all haven't seen um, Yano's um, micro Ninjago builds, they're pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, really, they're... Yeah, pretty great. Pretty great stuff. Okay, I'm pulling in for a landing on this knolling because yeah, we, we could so. do this for another like three hours and sure. still I would say, well, it's not quite there, but no, I think we're good. All right, so here's the now the biggest the biggest hurdle we're gonna have is that we have this is what we have for plates. Now we have yep. some other kinds of plates. Well, here. we noticed we've got these two by ends, and we do like making irregular base plates. Right. So I think the only the um. My only, the only downside for me is that, like, we don't get a solid color base, and that means we're going to have to do, um, you know, we're going to have to do, like, a lot of weird color base, but hopefully, I mean, fortunately, a lot of it is, like, tan and brown. Yeah, so here, let's... I'm going to do something crazy here, and I'm just going to... Um... Well, keep those close by, because... Yeah, I'm going to D... De... Organize You're denoling after you no, just, just these. did it. No, let's leave all this other stuff, but just clear out some building space <laughs> right there. Well, see, I find knolling to be processed too, right? Like my mind is going while I'm doing that. Right. And so I want to say, like, off I want to make sure that, like, we, I want to keep aside these, like, specialty pieces, these ones with printing on them. Yeah. I think those, um, we'll definitely be using those. Actually, I already have an idea for that one. Okay, I have a question for you. What's that? So, in this piece, we're, we're going with the idea of the micro city, right? Right. And we're going to have different buildings that are different shapes and different colors. Yep. Do we say that because it's a mock, everything has to be attached to the base plate? Or can we do multiple, like, two or three smaller things that have multiple buildings and then just, you know, arrange them? What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it can, I mean, my, uh, I always f think about it as being on one, you know, like, like one surface. Like an architecture set, right? Like an, yeah, like an and, architecture and set. And we don't have any, well, we have these for hinges, but we don't really have any hinges. Okay, so that's going to well, limit. There's a, I wouldn't say that. I say there are some, I know there's some wrenches in here, so yeah. those can definitely be I used think as hinges. These guns are great technical pieces because they have bars that can go in cliffs. Right. Well, I yeah, and I you know I love to do a um, I love making a a tree. Well, you know, <laughs> interesting. Guns. Like these two, a cool thing about these pistols. Oh, I guess they're they're perpendicular, aren't they? I thought it was on an angle for a second. So I'm already like here's an, another one of those printed pieces, and like right off the bat, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I, the dark tan ones are the ones yeah. I want to use here. So I have a question. So I'm you. already there's a house. <laughs> right, done. All right. So we're finished. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got all the pieces used, but not quite. So here's my question. For hey, you. Jeff McElwee is here. How's it going? If we can't spread out like a big wide layout because we don't have a lot of you know, base plates, what if we say this is the whole size of it and we build vertically and we use some of these other plates to make terraces on it so we get a much taller piece? Sure, we can like do that. Like a city on a hill or something. Well, I mean, and we may be able to make up 
like, look, we can probably make up a little bit in the back, give ourselves a little yeah. bit of space here, and maybe you won't necessarily see this, right? Could we get some height from, oh, you know what we could do? We could use some of these pieces on the sides of the, of the hill, you know, to, um, we have slopes, you know, to do something like, to give some shape to landscape. Unfortunately, these guys have to be raised up a plate to work. Well, I think so. I I think that a, a a fun way to go with, or a, like a a good way to go with this would be like let's just start making buildings, and then, and then we can yeah. figure out where like how they're gonna go. But I think part of this part of the fun of this is is making buildings. So where okay. is and we're not gonna worry about color, right? Meaning, um, meaning we can just make our buildings don't all have to be in the right. same color palette. Well, no, no. Well, I, mean, I mean, the whole set. What kind of city is. has you know? I mean, there's certainly going to be ones that when we use color that are going to stand out more than others, right? Well, like King's Landing or Florence, all look like they go together. I like see what I did there with. Like, they always do that in Star Trek. They say, in Florence <laughs> and in Paris and in Bom Shabar. Hey, Mini Fake Chick is here. How's it going? Right, they always add And one. your dad's here. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> um, I want to do a pink building. A pink building? Yeah, but I have to have... Oh, we have uh, corners. Don't we have some corners? There are corner plates. There's a gray corner plate. So I think I can... See, I'm thinking. Where didn't we have? Gray weren't there some L grills, or am I making that there's up? Gray, oh, there's gray grill. grills, but not bear grills. No. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that See, was coming, I wish, right? Can we can we make a bear grills graphic to go with coral? <laughs> to go with you, right? You Whenever really we want talk to. about grills, you put up a picture of bear grills. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Well, I don't know about introducing windows hmm. into my little pink um, observatory here. I'm gonna. Well, I've got an idea. I've got something going here for a. Um, let's gotta see. Have a roof structure on it. Now, I mean, this isn't ideal, oh. but if we're taking it, you know, if it's being done for a photograph. Oh, look! You've got some kind of like Art Deco structure going there. Right. You want two little, of those? A little building. Why don't you use both of those? For the, Wait, is, for the entrance. Is there an uphang? Yes. yes. I think this will be better, actually. Because it won't stick out quite... Why is that not going up? There okay. It won't stick out quite as far. Well, I don't think you need the um, yellow plate. Oh, you need the yellow plate to tie those together. Yeah, you? otherwise okay. it doesn't... The You don't get this this part of it. No, you know what? I liked it better I like when it was hanging down, other. right? Well, y yeah. A little bit... It feels overhang. more like it's part of the same structure. Right. And then what if, um, do you want to do both of these? Like it's got a full glass front? Well, I was thinking this, because we want to, because when you're building really small like this, you want to make sure that you have like variety in detail. your, yeah, in your so detail. So like one by twos? So I was thinking either like window, like some of the, a couple of these as windows on either side. I like that. Do we have, are we and lucky then, enough? We oh, don't have any that. black lightsabers or telescopes, do we? Black lightsabers or telescopes, I don't think so. No, just these, just those just silver these ones. little silver guys. Um, although I think I want to add a couple of, I do want to add a couple of one-by-ones in here. <laughs> Jeff McElwee, no one said anything about bears attacking. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Well, Bear Grylls might have... I don't think he ever got attacked by a bear. I hope not. No, he had a whole camera crew there with him. <laughs> so he wasn't there really we go. alone. <clears throat> I like that. That That is really nicely done, Flynn. Thanks. I think it's a cute little... So we have the... It looks like the Art Deco movie theater to me. It, do, it does. And then here, I'll try angle it. it a little Look at bit. this. Look at that. So there's a little... Clicky. And then how does it look from the side? I mean, it's not 
ideal from the side. No, but we could have. Little... But it can have other buildings on the side. Yeah, know, if, if it has other buildings on the side. Yeah, then... I would think maybe you know something tall off to one side of it. So, actually, hmm. using the most of these. Actually, I want to. I wonder if we could use one of these black. I know I'm always building cinemas. I can't help it. I miss. I know. Well, I art... miss the movies. Well, I think you gravitate to Art Deco, and then Art Deco immediately looks like a cinema. <laughs> right? Well, because there's sort of the ultimate Art Deco fan. Well, I don't know. Maybe not ultimate. The That's, ultimate! Well, Empire State's pretty impressive. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I could do more. Whoa! Look at that. Well, look, I could make it, I think I could make it even more Art Deco. Oh, look. Plattenbau apartment building in former East Berlin. <laughs> wow. They're all painted. Well, the ones when I was there, they were painting them pretty colors. Oh, I like this. This came out good. Is there a one by two dark tan over there that I could one use? One by two dark tan is right there. I think this fills the space in nicely. Look at that. Oh yeah, and then it can if we if there's a tile, is there a one by two? Yeah, there is. I like that even more. Like well, it really shows off the the front, right? Well, to me, in in a space this big, that looks like a centerpiece, and almost like rather than making like a whole city, it's like maybe we should make a city block of larger buildings. All right, well, let's use this as the scale for our, like, that's a movie theater. Okay. And so, we have this little guy. So then we know... A little... We know, know that, that a is. floor, one story, is one brick tall. Right. All right, so Right, we'll go... and a door is one... So a one-by-one one headlight brick <coughs> is, like, that could be a the size of a door. Oh, you're that right. Somebody said a Western town would do this. This is almost kind of like a saloon. Like if it had different yeah. doors, it could be. It could definitely be a saloon. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm good with this particular one. Um, well, do we have another two by four to do another similarly sized building? I know you're really caught on that piece, aren't you? Well, this is a tough one because in this direction, I'm not sure what it is yeah um i because i thought about a bandstand or you know like a oh you know what you're right what's it that is, that, is it that, that time? special time it is exactly that time prepare to okay. unknow I know. here let's just see what happens okay here we'll have we'll have pre logan cookie time knolling and, and post logan cookie time knolling. that's how mo that's how most time is you know what we should is measure here in this not house this time. We should do a down cam on Logan Cookie Time sometime. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's that special time of the day. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh! All right. We had an incursion. Hi, Logan. Hi, Logan. Yay, Logan Maybe Cookie like Time. Tiny ones. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Even the little ones. Okay, look at the camera. <laughs> and here we get several here. These are itty bitty ones. Here's your sound of happiness. Yeah. Oh, just a, a small sound what of happiness. What a good boy. He's only kind of happy. No, he's good. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Whoa, he's getting everything that's left in the container. Well, there wasn't there wasn't much there in wasn't there. a ton in there. I'll just say that. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. The knolling didn't suffer that much. Mostly off-screen disasters. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm super inspired by that piece right there. And it makes me wonder if there's other... There are more of these curves. Good luck, Kara. And say hi to Will if he's there. Um, I gotta check my email and see if he's gonna be there this weekend. Because we wanted to stop by and oh, say good hello luck. to him. Um, okay. So I've got this little, do we want to continue with this little guy, or is this just not, I mean, I love this. Well, what I would think is... Or is it an awning for a larger building? Um, 
I have two thoughts about that. One, okay. I think the building with the awning uh-huh. fits in this scale better. Otherwise, if you want to do the tiny house, we could do one of my favorites and do forced perspective with like a hill behind them that has these little buildings on it. Like oh two, yeah, well, two layers and the ones that are behind are smaller. That might be a good way to go for like when we start running out of pieces. Well, you know, like I always like. Do we only have black cheese wedges? Well, we definitely need. Because that's it's hard to make a building that's smaller than than you know, one. Like yeah, and that. I usually like to do it just turned. Yeah, so like that way, if it's facing the camera, you get that. That's kind of like the one of the smallest yeah. houses. Well, so look, I built something. We definitely. <laughs> So, look, if this is our base plate, it's like we've got one row of buildings. Well, and I think this can be... Oh, look, I broke your thing. (laughs) Here we go. Um, Let's see. Um, I don't like this. So, can we... Is there like a one by two tan tile? Um, Yes, there is right there. But that's not very exciting, is it? Well, I mean, it's the newspaper. It's like the the paper um, kiosk, the paper kiosk <laughs> store. Okay. Right? I mean, these actually look kind of these kind of cute, but I think we can oh. add some different different colors in between them. As can well. we make a Can we make a park? Like a like a, sure. You know, like maybe a sand green. Like they didn't water it enough. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's got it's it's like a lichen park. All right. Okay, sure, why not? Um all right. So, I think I feel like we but need a, a um we need a a skyscraper. Well, see, I think these guys are going to be good for that. Oh, sure. You know, and I almost wonder I wonder Well, it feels it like you're only going to... if we could get them on the sides, too. Well, it feels oh, like look. you're only really going to see the see most of these from the front. What and if... they're going to have other buildings next to each other. So okay. So I wonder... Well, if this is the size of one large building, we could do more than one large building. Sure. Well, do we... I mean, I think it would be taller than the movie theater, don't you? Like, it... maybe another layer of them? Yeah, and then... And if we do this, then we could actually put something on the side as no, you because you said the building's right next to it, right? Well, yeah, and also too, it's nice. It's nice to keep that flat, you know, like the Here. flat sides of it for now. Oh, can we do like a um... like we're going into our own little rabbit hole? I'm sorry, is there anyone watching? <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble I had. One wrong push and things fall apart. It's true. That's all you got. It's all you got. Um, well, it feels like we could do some, we could make this more interesting by putting some um, like stripes between the floors. Oh, you think? Well, we could do this as a color stripe. We have a few of those. We need um, um, two the by tan twos. Is not exciting. Or uh, one well, by we've th- got two by two. Dark oh, let's gray. do that. Let's do that. Right. Just Perfect. Bit like serious downtown. It's the it's the office building. Right. Right. <laughs> That architecture be a shame. Um, but it feels like this should have some kind of entrance. No, the other way. Oops. This feels like it should have some kind of entrance at the bottom. Well, I wish it could have like a tiny arched entrance. Can we do that? Do we? We have a couple of. Oh no. There's no we way. We have to... these bench brackets. What? So like that? No, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll work. Uh, let's oh, see. How about we we go with the old favorite? Do we have we have dark gray snot pieces? Oh, like um, oh, just regular snot. Well, I wish they well, were. It feels like a headlight. It, yeah, I was gonna say it feels oh. like it should be a different color. Wait, what if you or put a them, different shape? What if you put these on the back row and then we build studs out on the snot pieces? with like grills or something for oh there's a nice entrance look i don't mm, like two of those uh maybe yeah, not let's see call let's them see. no but those would have to go back a stud and we build out to it oh right this way you're talking about something like that like that is there um do we have a jump plate yes we have 
But that's not going to... I don't think that's going to give you what you want. I mean, if you want this, they... No, I w I'm wondering what is it like with the grill centered? Oh, like this, you mean? Yeah. But then we need to fill in all that. Yeah, you'd have We'd to do... We'd need to build behind it, right? You'd have to do another... Um, I don't know. It seems it seems a little tortured. Oh wait, to we me. have these. Maybe this is what it, maybe this is what you need. I know. Season this fun. Everybody's like, you should do live mock building on <laughs> camera. And <laughs> oh, are those like, studs solid or with a hole in them on the top? They're solid. solid. Yeah. Yeah, live mock building, and the clock slows down. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Well, I like this. I wonder if there's some way that we can perch that up there. I don't think there is. Oh but... my goodness, there are epic stories going on right now. <laughs> uh, okay, how about that? Oh, ouch. What about this? Oh wait, is there not another, there's not another one? Oh, did we? Oh, use, I used it on used the theater. It. I used it up here, and well, I don't want to. No, we need that fine detail. Okay. Well, what about like? Hmm. What about just like a tile? Do we have any? And we don't have any other uh, oh, trans clear look. pieces. How about this? Well, that's not bad for an abstract building. I don't know that I'm really getting entrance out yeah, of that grill. Yeah, I'm not loving it myself. But what hey, about... how about this? What Look, an awning in these gray tiles. Look, do a... Oh, like this? We'll do it maybe? on camera, maybe. What about this? That's what I'm thinking. And then with that, this No, over... that was my idea. Well, I no, know. You, can't, you can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, that works. And then should we push that out one more plate? Well, then it's just even with... Well, we can try it. No, just the upper part. So it's like an awning that sticks out uh, over the entrance. Whoa! Yeah, exactly. How about a one by two? Is there a one by two plate of uh, some color? It there, doesn't... Ew, there's a ledge. No, we, that doesn't work for us there. There's a one by two dark gray plate. All right, let's do that. Uh, I wasn't afraid of birds until this <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, I saw something go by earlier about little dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Is that oh. what you're thinking? Like this? Yes. Now that looks more like a thing, right? Yeah. I mean, it's still, it's a micro scale thing. It's a, mi it's a micro so, so is this this is back here right like this is a smaller scale well, i mean it could be it could certainly be up here with the other one i mean should we put a new a smaller thing in oh we have to put a oh, i'm sorry i just realized we have to put this is where this comes in handy y'all this is like if you ever wonder where do these pieces come in handy with this the, you mean the half stud half tile yep the half set, half tile, you get to do that with it. So. Oh, and it's on a black base, so. See, like, I think those look great next to each other. I'll buy that. It looks like we, we're starting to get some details. Should it have, like, an antenna on top? I was thinking that, actually, and I don't know what kind of. Well, we would need a dot with a hole in it. We've got these. Look. Could you use this? Could we use this gun? Yeah, if, but we need a we need a one by one round with a hole in it. Oh, and there's all. The, oh, I see. Oh, what about a jump? What about a jump plate? Let's see. Um, it looks like a gun. It yeah, looks, it looks less like a gun when it's like that. I'm not buying it. But what do you think about? Something oh, like that. hey, what if it had? What if we put a cheese wedge up there, like it's the um the top of the steps? You know, like like you go up on the roof and there's always this little structure. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we don't this have a little structure. The only problem is we don't have a stud for that. You would no, need, this a, it looks would need like a stud here. I'll buy that eye as a little bit of like, a little bit of smoke, smoke coming, coming out of the out. top. <laughs> Why not? Sure. It's a little. Let's work on another building. Um, 
Or use the, oh, the silver lightsaber handle. So the only problem with the, the lightsaber handle is it doesn't actually fit into anything. No, you need an intermediate post, right? It would, <laughs> a lightsaber handle would work on a, on a pistol. I'm, I'm already kind of into this. Oh, look. Well, it's kind of the wrong colors to be our street light, but... Oh, and if it is, there's some other way to... Yeah, that's we the problem. We need to make a street the light. Little, the little lightsabers, they only fit into a hole. They don't fit into a stud, so you're kind of yeah, same in with, trouble with like that. Like, this rifle might make a good base for a fancy, ornate okay. street light. So, all right, these pieces. I'm shy of those. I don't know. What do you What do you all think? I think in something of this scale, that these pieces... Oh, showing it here. Something of this scale... I feel like those are going to overpower the whole piece. Yeah, kind of. It kind of seems like that, right? I, w I wonder, from the side, it's just they're s they really are big. Well, what if you turn Soccer it around? Soccer Dome, that's, I thought about um, a, some, kind of, some kind of thing like that, like a, um, a stadium or, uh, or something like that, like the, like the, um, <laughs> the Thunderdome. That's a stadium, well, right? <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> you know, those cages the motorcycles go around in. Oh. Um, so uh, what if we did, and it's only in white, but what if we did like an Art Deco um, like sunrise bloom with all of these curves, right? We have four of these, and mm. we have the dome. Well, right. I was because I was. And if we offset them, yeah, I was thinking that that would be. I mean, that's like. I mean, but what would it be? Is it like the opera house? Is it kind of like the? Well, I only say that because I saw somebody saying that we were going to build the Sydney Opera House. So you're well, talking about like this. Yeah, and and then with other bricks in between. But I don't even know if we need those hem the hemisphere. Maybe these flat ones fit in scale a little more. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, like, there might be some... Here, I'm just going to take these for a second. I mean, this will fit on here. Well, we could... What if we put... I mean, we could make it well, a... You know what? It makes me... Th it, makes me th it makes me think of the Cinerama Dome in, um, in L.A. Yeah. A little bit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Some kind of, like... Well, maybe those are clouds. Maybe we use them as clouds we, we later. We build them up. Yeah, I'm not... I don't mind that if we could if we have something white that can go in between them. Oh, we do. Oh wait, I wonder how this. Yeah, I'm feeling constrained by the size of this base plate. I like where this is going, sort of. Like I was thinking, if it was, if we were able to do something like that, and then do we have any one by cubes? So instead of a movie theater, this is like a live performance theater. It's like, <laughs> I mean, well, I, like the, I don't know. I like Actually, the idea of a stadium. Can it go like on the a corner? covered stadium? Like here? What, or what like... if instead of using both, what if you just used one and put it on, made a corner building out of it? So are we making? Okay, are we? Well, I can't do that and use this at the same time. It would well, have to it, it would be, be different. That's what I'm saying. Like, does that, you know, like a corner something? Sure. Yeah. I mean, if we can figure out how to give us a little curve, because we don't really have a lot of. What if we use these for columns? You think that bit that tall? Yeah. Let's see. And then they could rotate too, so we actually get going around. The oh, back. sure. I don't. That's so and then that's here? at ninety degrees. Yeah. So like you're saying like this. Yes. That, and then maybe we lose these off it. They're confusing. That's not bad, you guys. Right? Like I kind of dig that. I think that looks really cool. And we could give it some kind of fanciful spire. Like you know what that is? That's the radio station. <laughs> gonna have an antenna on it <laughs> oh an observatory Ooh. Mm. you know it's funny i almost i wanted to make this into an observatory like a little um 
you know, kind of smaller scale, but I like the idea of that. It's the corner bodega. But I do like. <laughs> well, it's funny because you do see those types of buildings, right? And but... look, and look, there's the the magazine racks. Maybe not. Mm, yeah. It's overscale. I, I'm trying to use. Well, that the, piece. so the secret, the 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 trick is going to be filling in this area right here, when avians attack. <laughs> I mean, what I do like is that. Yeah, it's got an entrance it's tile. It's got like now. an entrance tile, but how do you? How do we fill in the rest of it? That's the. That's the real. That's like, what goes there? Well, we've got these. We have a bunch of one by one plates, and we have. Oh, we have these. What if we make column? No, we've already got columns. Oh, you know what I just realized? Check this out. We can do. Okay, I'm gonna. I just. I need to have this just on its own for a minute. Jeff McElwee suggests the sand green. Yeah, I thought... And look, we've got these sand green tiles. Well, I thought about this to what? give it a little sass. Like Do a little we have something. two of those? Um, I thought we did. Oh, wait. Take yep. that off for a second and use that use that curve the way you just used it. Oh, yeah, that was my that was sort of where I was going and then I got... It's like, um, yeah, that piece in your hand. Was this... And then they could rotate almost like her. Uh, I don't know how that's going to look on the other yeah. side, though. I think it's going to crowd up the um, I feel the like building. we've got too large of surfaces with too little detail now. Yeah. Whoop. Now, what about... Hey, how about this? What if you put this in the hole? And they could go up or down. If it goes up, then it's... Well, what, just like as a decoration? Yeah, maybe what if it goes up instead of down? And then we could even put something on it. Is it getting... It's too complex. Yeah, I think it's getting a little too much. Well, go back to just the, the two one-by-two things on there. <laughs> it definitely likes to fall apart. Yeah. What if that? What if you set that back one stud? Because then it's. I think it's then too far back. Yeah, but we've got those circles that we can. No. No, maybe not. It depends what we what we put in that hole. I wish we had more clear. Yeah, it's kind of what what are we doing? What are we making as a doorway for this? Well, Wilfred has a suggestion here. You can also use the L shaped piece. I think that's the pistol. Um, on the one by two snot brick to be able to go behind or in oh or in between Do what now? Oh, I like where you're headed with these columns though. Yeah, but they won't attach what to if anything these, What if these turn inward this? Oh Well, okay, I'm I, I'm I feel thinking, like we're getting lost. Yeah, I, th I think that if we're gonna go for this, we need to get like we're thinking about it in this way. What we need to do is come up with a a reasonable door treatment for for this. Okay. Um, whatever that's gonna turn, whatever that turns out to be. And I think this can just ha and, can be little detail. Yeah, I'll buy that. And then what are the dimensions we have to work with for the door treatment? Well, first of all, we're gonna have to bring this up by a plate. Um, okay, how about these guys? Oh, d can we use these black dots and we won't notice them on the black base sure. plate? Sure. There we go. How's everybody oh, doing out there? Here. Have we bored you to death yet? Are you done? Are you? Is everybody leaving in droves? Flynn, say hi to Zonker. <laughs> hey, Zonker. How's it going? Brickman Mosaics Art is back. Right. Well, at this rate, I don't know if we're going to get the extra credit of using every piece. Well, we'll in see. Our mock, but we might, you know, maybe there's more than one assembly. Oh, no. I feel too. like I'm I want to I feel like I want to step away from this particular building for yeah. a few minutes. Well, what if you put it on with just the two columns we have? Okay. And see if it's worthwhile coming back. I mean, I definitely think it's an interesting like, I definitely think it's an interesting building. It's just a matter of how are we going to fill that gap in. Yep. I mean, I think we can figure it out. It's just maybe not 
You want to put one of those things you got to come back to. Will you put the other column on there so it stays together? Yeah. Oh, I see it dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Is it on? I bet it's on your chair. It's possible. Nope. Not on my chair. Well, That's we'll all right. Back we'll, to we that. will. We will definitely come back to it. Okay. So where else do we need? We've got room. We have two studs on this side. I'd love to Over use here. this now. This is I don't. Well, it's, I don't know. It's not really cheating, but we did. I know that we, um, we did use um, this look on a another building that we did. Hmm. Can I? What if we put this forward? What happens then? Oh, I see. It's just the same. I was trying to come up with some kind of like ninety degree, like that. Hmm. What, like dual entrance? Are you talking about? Well, like yeah, like I mean, almost like looking at um looking at a uh, revolving door. Well, you could do that. You would just have to put a brick or a couple of plates underneath, um, underneath this particular. Like a couple one. of one by twos. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I don't know if it's a little bit too abstract to be read as a door. I mean, I like it. And then we build over here, too, and we've got... Oh, and maybe we almost have our corner entrance. Mm, let me see one thing, though. Double doors? You're... you're I mean, is that too... <laughs> um, oh, I don't no. know. Well, that looks more like a traditional entrance, the two rectangles, but then you need this you know, or something on the side of it to close off that box. I was thinking about this piece because we have this on the side, right? Okay. Um, See exactly their Dumbledores. <laughs> Hooded one nose. <laughs> um, but you're right. We don't have anything to finish off this side of it. No, that's it's. I mean, unless you're gonna do that with it. No, how about? I mean, yeah, that's the problem with. So, um, hmm. well, it's got to have tan on the other side so that it matches, right? Right, that's the thing. How, what about if we just do a single door? We don't have to use both of them. Uh uh. Hmm. Um, it's up by the silver dots. <laughs> by the no, by the I know our oh you're right look, there it see, is look there you go right so it has to be sideways built look I found the the piece here oh th <laughs> thanks there we go and we will I mean I don't know we'll I don't know it that seems may, again that may or may not happen. it seems a bit of a stretch. Sure, why not? It's kind of like Gaudi had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "No, we're gonna, we're gonna." I'm like laughing at that, like I know what that, that means. But Gaudi? Yeah, you know who Gaudi is. Do do he I? He made that crazy cathedral. Oh, it got it, got it. I think. Am I right? So I was thinking about this piece. And how it uh, could now have... this is displeasing me. I'm just taking. This it is off. displeasing this, me. I am not amused. It's it's by hard. The, by the corner dome. See, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use this piece. I. It's just this large, you know, like. Yes. I don't know. It's like if you built a gingerbread house and someone dropped a marshmallow on it. Just one. A giant one. <laughs> Sure. Oh, now I like that entrance. Like, this is a larger scale, though, right? No. It actually needs to be a little bit. It, it needs, needs to be, to be a little bit taller, I think. But I mean, I don't know any. I don't oh, know any. Oh, put a layer that... between. No, because then the um, the tiles won't won't fit. Unfortunately. No, no, just bring it down a stud. It'll still fit. Would will you use one by ones below it? Maybe. Uh, I'll let you do that because I don't know what you mean. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if I can make, create any more. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, like, our little tiny building here. 
<laughs> he got left behind. Humble beginnings. Okay, I'm and gonna then bring this into it. What's a contrasting? Well, you took that contrasting color. What no, other? Here. No, it's okay. You don't have to. Here, I am gonna take this down. Look. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It has to be a whole brick, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Can't be right about that. Yes, the, the lightsaber handles only fit into a clip. Now, we have a couple of clips here, and I'm hoping that we can use, you know, somehow the clips, the sand green clips with, the, with these on them, right? Like that Oops, somehow? Sorry. Hmm. Like a decoration on something? How about a vehicle out front? What if they're wheels on a vehicle? That would be the right scale, right? Um, well, the only thing that'll fit on this is a tile. You don't have to put anything on it. Just look at it sideways. Just if it didn't have that below it. It looks like a spaceship from this <laughs> from this view. Although I don't mind this as a as some kind of decoration for a building. Like decoration for the top of a building? Yeah, maybe. Well, no. we've kind you've kind of set a tone with your Art Deco theater. Well, you know, any town is yeah. I, I gotta raise this up a plate. We're already starting to get some fun. Oops. It's almost like we're going to have a tiled side, or we're going to have a sidewalk there. Well, I mean, this isn't necessarily where all these things are going to live, right? Right. Let's raise this up one plate if we've got one. Or did we use them? What are you asking about? Um, raising this up a black plate so that it matches the other two buildings. We only have the ledge one. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if this, how this would look under here, because it helped fill that weird gap, or if it's just going to be weird. Mm, no, it's too I much, think it right? complicates it. You could add a plate there, but maybe not that one. I like it simple. Oops. Yeah, not every building has to be the most amazing oh, building here we ever, go. right? Now, I've got, there's this piece, which I kind of feel like I want to I want to use Oops. for... Um, I need to take a gentler touch here. Actually... <laughs> well, things you are ever do that, to get... you just kind of reach in and you're like, "Whoa, wait, I need to slow down." Yeah, the knolling process has gone um, has gone awry. That's all right. So I feel like I want to do something a little wider, a, a wider gauge. Well, building. you've got four studs to work with there. So maybe these side by side. Um, and we How about can... that? Look. Decorate with a little bit of... And then of... put these in between. And it allows us to build on the side. Oh. Never mind. What happens? No, they need to only be on one side, not both right. sides. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, I'm, like, I'm liking this. With this over it. Do we have another one of we those do. black ones? I just saw Here it, is. it. There we go. And that fits. That's not even stressed. Nope. That's a nice. That's a nice intriguing entrance. Could you already. give it a, like a curve or like a little? Well, I feel like this is the more the, tank thing. Um, this is a smaller part of a larger building, probably, right? Yeah, it's like Orthanc moved in. <laughs> downtown. Yeah, when the town was very young. Uh, and what ruled we, by orcs. Now, what can we. Now, this is about finding something that we can use as an entrance. I mean, is that too out of line? Mm, now we're a, getting into space. Yeah, city. it's a little confusing. <laughs> um, lightsaber also fits into the hole in the 2x2 two two plate with the rounded bit added and a hole. Um, Wait, the lightsaber fits in a. Oh, does it fit into the middle of that? No. No. But does it fit into in between the holes in a plate? I don't think it does that either. I don't, because it's not a full stud size. No. Mm. It has to, I think the only attachments are with a clip or a post, so I don't understand. 
A moon-based theater. Yes, of course, Jeff McElwee. It needs to be a moon-based theater. What about, how about... Yeah, see, I, I thought some kind of slopes or something. It's almost like... But we need to, we still need something to hold these need black there yeah. hold these together and it also is going to need a plate underneath. It's now it's it's going to be it's another a theater. Hat. <laughs> it's going to be another theater. This is the theater district. Um. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You are talking about the. The piece that you use for keychains, it's like flat on the bottom, oh, yeah, round with on the, the top, with the round. And this thing. That, it fits in there, apparently. Whoa! Look at that! I wonder if we can... Um, right in there. I wonder about this, too. I don't know where we might be going with that, but that's a possibility. Well... Wait, can we... Oh, I, I wish there was a second one of these. Oh, but we can finish... Yeah, there is a second one, but you used it in the... Theater. No, I meant a second one of these ones with the rounded... Oh, the keychain With the rounded bit. bit. And I wonder to what degree you can do something like that. Well, this will... This would bring it up to... Now that's all in, in system. But I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think... I think you made a KitchenAid mixer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what that is? That's it's BB Galini's powder puff. Oh no! Pow powder no, compact factory. It is not BB Galini's anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe it poor, is. Poor Mike Brady. Uh, it's the kitchen store, indeed. I wonder if we may just are gonna our entrance is gonna be, or is that too well, abstract? It looks a little like a, like a witch. That's all right. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? You know what it needs? Does it need? Um, let's see. Hmm. Well, if it was a, if it looked like a building shaped like a witch. What if we do these? Oh, yes. That's much better. Do we have two of those or only one now? I thought we had two. Or you could do, do we have a light gray one? Two light gray ones? Right yes. there. What if we did that? That's a little bit more than I like doors, that better. Right? Now, I'm not sure I understand these curves. <laughs> I don't much. care. Just I understand the building, but the curves are confusing me. Could we do columns with the with those guys? Or we already determined that's impossible. What about Okay, so just what about the what about plain tiles here? These green ones. More detail. Like that? No, it's too I think it's too plain. Right. Oh, brown oh. doors. I don't yeah, know what do we have brown jump plates? We have two of them. Brown yeah. doors. Yep. Now, if we wanted to do a more brown based building, we've also got these one by twos that we could, you know, work with going either way, one way or the other. Or what about like that? Yeah. But then or that's... there's these two. Other way. Well, it needs a it needs a plate underneath of it. Oh, really? Yeah. It would need a plate. What do you think? I don't know that that's really helpful. Mm. Yeah. But I like brown doors. Yeah. It looks like a pizza oven. It does. <laughs> it does. You're right. This is a failure as yeah, a building, I'm afraid. I think... But I think this is, maybe this is just the weird part. Oh, there you go. And then we use do some kind of marquee design. Well, we have this. We could go up there. It's a donut shop. There it is. Mel's Donuts. Mel's Donuts, huh? Let's see. Do we have black? I wish we had clear tiles. Would be nice. Well, so I'm, sh I'm sure so no one in are... Tricky Lug would mind if we just added some pieces from our own collection to this, right? I'm sure that would just be fine. Are you hearing this? <laughs> Do you all hear this? <laughs> It is kind of a museum, right? It kind of looks like the, yeah, I'll it buy that. Kind of looks like the museum in Animal Crossing a little bit, actually. Now that I see it, well, I'm not. I don't hate that tile there. 
Especially, can the building be set back and have like some kind of courtyard? Is it a little too much like the other one, like in shape? Like it may need to go further along on the block. Mm, what if it turns sideways and then there's a two by building? Mm. I'm not 100% sold on I, it I don't, It's a little too abstract. I like what we have going on here. So, I don't think we're going to be finishing this mock on the show today. I don't think anybody thought that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, of course, the Donut Museum. Um, oh, oh, wait, oh, there's hearts see. in the snow. Monica Berry says, Kevin Nader put hearts in the snow in front of their museum. Oh, very nice. Yeah, anything we can do to... <laughs> this is getting more and more weird. I want to use those lightsabers as vertical columns. Yeah, I do too. Like, I kind of like where this was going, right? Well, what if it had one on either side? But we can't because it's a very specialized oh, case. Oh, Cara got our blacksmith shop! Yay! Oh, thank that's you, so cool. Cara. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. Woot! Woot, 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 woot. Just saying. That is so awesome. Thank you, Kara. Um, well, I am... Uh... Golly. What do you think? Can we do some kind of columns? That's an interesting entrance. You know? And then with something something over the top. Well, I know. That's what I'm going to be building on my t on the Twitch stream next. What's that? Blacksmith oh, shop. the blacksmith shop. Yeah, even though everybody's built. Like, there's like a thousand videos already for people building the blacksmith shop, which I find humorous. Well, <laughs> there's I have, so many. I have a big project to do today. Okay. And I think I should check back in with um, with my office. And All that, right. Um, I don't know that we need to say goodbye, but um, I need to check. I need to say goodbye. But I'm super psyched that we made progress. Look, we've come so much further than we had at the beginning. I know of the it show. only took an hour and a half to make three buildings, <laughs> <I know. laughs> and we used almost all the pieces. <laughs> yeah, we used almost all of them. Well, I think we're going to continue working on this. Yeah, um, I will. Um, I'll noodle around for a few more minutes. Okay. Um, and then. Yeah. Well, it was fun hanging out with you all. Thanks for bearing with us as we kibitz back and forth about. I mean, that's the way we. That's the way we build, right? Except yep. rather than taking 90 minutes, we take six months. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <coughs> All right. Well, we'll see right. you later. Okay. Bye, everyone. Oh, I just realized that they fit in the holes of the bridge piece. Ah. Look at that. Well, I'm going to come back, and there's going to be a spaceship here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Spot the Magic Ninja, how's it going? Well, that's that's interesting, kind of. They fit in there, for sure. And in here. Oh, is oh wait a minute. Is that a way to get these back to back? Yes. If that one... You could do this. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty cool. Wow, so now we have a bigger thing we can't attach to anything. <laughs> But we do. Look, we have these Technic pins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I think there's possibility there. I think there's possibility there too. I really want to use this as a bridge, and I think it would be really fun to have it be have you know sort of like a bridge that goes from one place to the other. But the uh, see you later, Joshua Zender. Um, I. I want to find a way to attach this, but that we don't have a lot of choices. So your choices are basically um, to use these. Um, and hey, Holly, how's it going? Um, I'm trying to think the... Um, uh, right, like I need to get this around to fitting on the another on the another side and I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen but I think it could be really cool or maybe this is hmm. 
This is a hard piece. Especially, like, flipping it around to the other side when you don't necessarily have all of your, um, you know, all of the pieces that you need. <laughs> Go on. Well, I thought the pencils, again, yeah. could attach in the holes of that thing, and then the bottoms of the pistols could go into junk plates. So, like this? <laughs> it is a spaceship. <laughs> Just a spaceship. Um... Um, oh, right, and then those can fit into jump plates. Yeah, they can. I'm just so. What is this? Oh, look. Oh, never mind. What is this getting us though? I don't know. <laughs> well, if you work backwards from the attachment point, it's um, yeah. Right. If you figure out what you can attach to. Yeah. Well, it's still it's still interesting. It would be interesting some kind of like stadium or like stadium entrance or theme park entrance or I don't like know. Sam Green building or can you build up some nice That looks like the front that totally looks like the entrance to a um that <laughs> looks like the entrance to a theme park somehow. <laughs> like like six flags or whatever. <laughs> it's got weird flags on the top of it. I don't know. Wow, well, I definitely see where um, people would have issues with this particular model. It is not a simple, um, it's not a, just a simple rebuild. There's some serious, uh, serious considerations about this one. Yeah, headlight brick can be laid on its back, then the smaller holes will be facing up. Um, yeah, that's, so, yeah, there's a head, so a headlight brick can fit this way with the, it can either fit into the back of it, like that, which still doesn't help us, or it can fit in the bottom of it, which similarly, we're still building the other way, right? Yeah, same, Holly, like, I gotta, um, all right, bye, minifig chick, we'll see you later. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, I agree, Holly, like, building upside down, like, I just, I, I keep visualizing this as a bridge, but there's just, uh, mm, currently, I don't see any way to get this upside down. So, Flip? we might be able to do, well, we don't, we, hmm. It's true. It's true. See, I'm suddenly I'm hitting the I'm hitting that wall where I was like, okay, this now just looks like a pile of bricks. Like I want this to be a thing, but it's just kind of boring. <laughs> um, the headlight brick and the bridge have hollow studs. It's true. You're saying connect with the pistols. Let's see. Now I don't know what I did with it all. Okay, here we go. Um. So maybe like this? Oh, like this. Right? Well, I mean, especially too, if you if you build this so that it's just in the background, like you see the bridge and the, the ends of it are covered up by buildings, um, that totally works. That totally works. Um, I this is great. Now, will it be in system? That's another question. <laughs> will it be in system? But this is a great way. Well, you know, actually, if you if you um, can also connect the other yeah we we look we tried that circle shape i like i'm just saying like if you did it like this and maybe even built it up a little bit more and had um and had buildings hiding like that like the edges of the bridge well then you couldn't see how it was connected anyway and so it would just look like a bridge in the background of the city and i think 
what we would need to do though, um, L bracket plus two headlight bricks equals upside down. Um, okay, so you're talking about like this L bracket? Are you talking about the, an uphang or an overhang? Or an uphang, or, oh gosh, listen, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, and I'll try, so you're saying these. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Oh. Well, that's still, I still don't, I, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, the black one connected to the back of the headlight bricks. Got it. Okay, let me try that. Back of it connected to the headlight bricks. To the back. Go this way, sorry. So like this is what you're saying. Two headlight bricks with the L bracket connected into the back of it. That is upside down. You can build upside down in that. Like that, right? Very cool. Now, do we have another one of those black ones? That's the thing. <clears throat> do we have another, do we have another L bracket? I'm not sure, <clears throat> but I am really into this, like making up um, the spaceship needs wings. <laughs> well, you know what it actually what it needs is it needs a roadway underneath, right? It needs a roadway underneath so that it looks like a one of those, you know, a bridge that has the this part over it, and then this can be decorated with um in it can be decorated like that with three of these oh look we have a tan yeah you could use uh grogu's ears as the distant mountains or something like that totally that would work um oh you're right look at that wilfred i used the other l bracket is under here in this building that i hate so we can take it off um i do hate it it's the worst now the only thing that i'm bummed out about with this is that means i'm losing four windows four possibilities for windows um but is it worth it for the um is it worth it to have the bridge? Probably. Right? Um, well, you've been drawn to the bridge since the start. It's true. It's true. I definitely have. Um, but I'm not, I'm not hating that. But it does, I do feel like it needs um, the, this piece underneath of it to really, to really kind of sell it. Now, I wonder if I could do like this. Um, should the city spin to maintain artificial gravity in space? <laughs> Y'all are so mean. <laughs> it's not a spaceship. <laughs> um, all right. Oy, 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 oy. Oh, you know, I would, you know, this would work too. In the same way, would be using, oh, I wonder if this would provide a little bit more support for my roadway, right? And then the roadway can be attached on like this. And then you have your you have your pieces on there, right? It's a theater, people. <laughs> what about tiles to give it uh, a brace so it's sort of just set in place or could possibly move? Mm. You mean so like like here and here? 
as a little brace. Because that's definitely possible. Uh, oh, I kind of like... Whoops. Giving it some kind of little decoration. I don't know. It feels like it could, it could use a roadway. It feels like it could use a couple of more... It needs to be a little bit higher on the sides. But um but I do like this idea of a of a of a roadway underneath of the bridge. I think that'll look good. It's just a matter of getting it to getting this up. We don't have the white things, unfortunately, to deal with that, but oy. well we do have so we do have that, but I don't know that we have pin to studs to fit um, we have pins, but not pinned to studs to fit that on there. But it would look a little bit more like a bridge if it had the little little things on it. Golly. I don't know. I'm starting to I'm starting to get um, to lose the thread. <laughs> So yeah, well. Sometimes it's good to step away from it and give it, a, you know, get fresh eyes. Right. Well, I think. I'm not encouraging you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do think this is good. I I like the using these pieces. I just want to raise this. I just want to raise this up a little bit more, and it doesn't give me. It, it's not really giving me a lot of pieces to do that. So. Um, Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, this has been an experiment in uh, in madness. So hopefully you can see a little bit of how... I mean, I can definitely see now why people are saying it was a very difficult process. It's, uh, it's for sure uh, tough. This one's tough. Not gonna lie, this one is tough. Uh, but I have faith that we will... We will come through with something uh, with something interesting by the time it's all over. That's not just these three buildings. <laughs> I know. Look, we made a building. <laughs> we made those same three buildings that you saw the other day when we were here. Um, but anyway, I hope uh, I hope you all had a uh, fun today. It was a silly, just sort of what can we build live type of thing. Um, it is good to have a tough one occasionally, and I'm really impressed that so many people have been able to like use the uh, entire, um, uh, use all the pieces. I'm so impressed. Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna, yeah, I th it's because I'm already thinking like how I can, I'm looking at how can I extend out the, the street so that it has it has room and like where can I put my bridge and all that sort of thing so um well I hope uh I hope that the oh I just found some more clips and some other pieces man it really does help to just kind of look at everything but you get so I don't know about you but I get stuck in in certain colors so I just start looking at you know like oh what is this oh that's that's the only color I can use um, I was been looking so much. I wasn't even looking at all these gray pieces, and there's some pretty interesting gray pieces over here. So, um, just uh, just a quick reminder that you can uh, find us on Instagram at Tricky Bricks. You can also email me with any questions or thoughts with at Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. Uh, if you want to send us something through snail mail, you can do so at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. So we will be back on Friday with the with the results of the um, of the rebrick challenge. I'm inter I'm really interested to see what everybody's going to come up with. And then we also have a I think a fun new challenge picked uh, picked out for everyone on Friday. I think it's going to be. Um, it's another one of those kind of like tricky lug, uh, um, tricky lug centric type of uh, type of build challenges. So we'll see what people see what people think. Um, all right. Well, uh, thank you so much, and don't forget until we see you next time on Friday at 10 a.m. Oh, and don't forget your uh, challenge builds are due tomorrow at 4 p.m. 
uh, for the slideshow on Friday. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.